Uh, the other thing which is connected is the whole relationship between principles and people. I do believe in principles. I don't believe in rigid principles that are not thinking. And I was part of the left, parts of the left that Ivan was in, and they were rigid and they were not thinking. But that doesn't mean that you give up being principled. And another short anecdotal story, I was talking at Brandeis with a woman who works for the Israeli government, um, who, you know, is kind of a pro-Israel propagandist at this point. And her point was, and we weren't diff I mean, we didn't argue with each other, there were differences, similarities. But she basically said, I want everybody to have an opinion. I don't care if it's left or right, I just want you to have an opinion. So at the end of the talk, I said, you're right in the sense that you want everybody to have a safe space, that they don't have to be argued with or debated with, that they can evolve their opinion. But I said, at the end of the day, there are rights and there are wrongs. And I might not know all the rights, and I might not know all the wrongs, but there are wrong policies and right policies. The occupation is a wrong policy. And that's important for us to understand. Um, I think Zionism is racism is a wrong policy. You know, and I can talk about it. Well, a young Orthodox man came up to me, and he, he was very interesting. He said, I thought I was, you know, somewhat right wing. I thought I was going to like the Israeli spokesperson. But it was you that I actually liked, which was nice. I mean, there may have been people who liked her better. Who knows? But he said, I really liked you because I also believe that rights are wrong. Can I email you? And so we're now an email correspondence and since he wants to see what the agreements are and what the deep disagreements are. But I thought that was really, really interesting. The other thing is you don't trash people. You just don't trash people, period. You don't even trash your own or Bush. We're talking about politics of principles. That if you trash one person one day, you trash another person another day. And if we trash your own, that opens up a field for the right-wing settlers to call him out of Hitler. And you just don't go there. Sharon's policies are either right or wrong. Who he is as a person is something separate. And you don't attack the personhood of somebody. You have to hold that out, I think, if you're going to have humane politics that reach many, many, many people. There are good people that back Ariel Sharon. He ha Ariel Sharon may have some bad policies today. They're not all bad. But there can be good people that back him. And I think I learned that from the left, that we're not the good guys and there are bad guys out there. Everybody is a good girl or guy who can be won over to a good policy. And there are other things I learned, I'll put a, because I'm sure my time is up, about leadership, about organizing tools, um, and so on. But um, I feel, just to end, that I'm proud of my background, but I'm proud of, I'm proud right now of Brit Setic and all of us that are trying to figure this issue out and trying to make a difference at a much harder time than the 1960s in a very reactionary time in the world. We are trying to do mitzvah. <coughs> Good for us, and I think we will win. I'm very, I'm very clear from my background and where I stand. There will be two states, and there will be a Palestinian state next to an Israeli state, and we will be proud of the work that we've done here. Yeah.